Welcome to the Drupal Academy. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a dependent dropdown for the country, state and the city in a Drupal. Creating a country, state and city dependent dropdown in a Drupal can greatly enhance the user experience of your website. Especially if you are building a location based application or service. In this tutorial, we will walk you through the step how to achieve this functionality. This is the form which I have created for the country, state and the city. Before that, I will show you the table structures. For the country, I have created one table. Its name is country and in that table, I have added two columns ID and the name. In ID, it will be the country ID and the name will be the country name. Second field is the state for the state as well. I have created the another table. In that table, there are three columns ID, name and the country ID. This country ID is the foreign key from this country table. And uh, in the name fields, I have added the name of the states. And for the city, I have created the third table. In that table, I have, create, I have added three columns first is the id second is the city name third is the state id again the state id is the foreign key from this state table now we will go to the form in this form i have created these three fields country state and the city and i hope you know the how to create the custom form in a drupal if you don't know i will add the link of the video how to create the custom form in a description and again, I will explain here as well how to create the custom form in a Drupal. So for that first, I have created, uh, this is the my custom module name is employee. In the employee module, I have created this country dependent.php file inside the form directory. To access this form, I have added the routing of this form inside the employee.routing so this form is accessible on the slash country hyphen dependent and the title is country state city dependent dropdown which is visible here now go to the custom form code the country dependent.php inside this file i have first mentioned the namespace so i have already created this form to save the time and after that i have included these classes form based form state interface database which is required to fetch the value from the database of, of this uh, country state and the city third is the ajax response so we need to send the ajax request to fetch the other values like if i select any country then if i want to fetch the value of all state from this country so to get that value we send the ajax request to fetch the all state from that particular country the fifth class is the html command which is used to attach the result to the particular fields so i will show you the uh, use of all this in this form so here you can see i have created the class country dependent and extend the form base and inside that I have created one variable connection which is used to uh, store the database connection and inside the constructor I have created the connection with the database next is the get form id we have mentioned the form id after that in the build form we have created the three fields first is the country second is the state and the third is the city which are visible on our form now i will show you inside the country field i have mentioned the type as a select valid as a true i will explain you why it is uh, we need to use this after that title is the country option so i have passed the one variable as a dollar countries inside the countries variable i already fetched the list of all countries from the database and that detail you will get inside the this get countries function so i define that get country function here 
inside this function I have written one query to get the list of all countries from the country table so this is the select query from the country table and CN is, is an allies and what I, which fields I want to fetch from that table ID and the name this ID and the name this name is the country name and ID is the ID of country and after that I return this data and uh, pass that data to the this country drop down and here you can see we are getting the list of all countries which are available in our table here you can see the ajax on event change i have called the one function get states in a callback so now i'll show you the what i have written in a get state go to that function so first i have created the object of this ajax response class next is i have written the select query to fetch the list of all states from that particular country so here we will get the country id and i have passed this country id in the condition so query will be like select id name from state table where country id equal to this country id which we have selected from here this query will run on this table and it will fetch the list of all states of that particular country and here i have for each all these results and attach those options to the select state again go to the our state field on the state field i have added one class as a state select and here i have attached the result to the that particular field on the basis of this state select class now i hope you get the understanding when we select any country it will fetch the list of all the list of all states of that country and it will attach the list to the options of these states same way for the state field i have created the type uh, as a select validated true title state and added the class as a state select and in on the ajax on the change of the event it will fetch the list of all cities of that particular so here we have called the another function which will return the list of all cities now go to that function so this function will return the list of all cities from that state so query select id city name from the city table where state id equal to the selected one so we have mentioned here state id it will return the list of all cities of that particular state so now i will show you that suppose first we will select the india as a country and i will select the state the maharashtra on select of the state here you can see we are getting the list of all cities in the maharashtra state same way if i change it to the any other country mexico we are getting the list of all states from the mexico and and also we are getting the list of all cities from that mexico city state now i will select the another country that is united arab emirates and uh, we will select the dubai as a state and uh, we will get the city then we again now will select the united states select the any state and uh, we will get the list of cities from that state and on click of save we will get the ids of the selected country selected state and the selected city now i will show you the structure one more time first we have created this country drop down next is the on uh, change of the country we will we have called this get state function and those values are passed to the the state drop down and again on change of the draw the state drop down 
we will get the list of all cities and those cities are attached to the this city drop down now i will show you why we have added this validated equal to true i will remove it and i will show you the error now again i select the country state and the city now i will try to save this form here you can see we are getting an error an illegal choice has been detected please contact the site administrator to avoid this error you need to mention the validated as a true inside all fields this is the one way to achieve the country state and the city dependent drop down there might be the different way so that's it from this tutorial if you want the code of this functionality let me know in the comments i will share it on a, my github repo if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel for more drupal tutorials and leave your question or the comments below thank you for watching and see you in the next video